Hello everybody, it's Several Level 4 for another episode of Final Fantasy X HD. In the last episode, we killed Maester Seymour, and we got a new Aeon. And then we weren't allowed to send him. And I have a feeling that really bad things are gonna happen now. But, uh, let's get out of here first and foremost. It's cold. Okay, cool. Oh. Give me a break. What? That was a good jump. So, fun times. We have to do the cloister trials technically in reverse order now. I don't know how you're supposed I I guess maybe it was always designed for you to do it on the way out because there's no way to do it from the front, but it's very devious. I don't know why what the test is to get the Aeon first, but Ah. Anyway, we got the uh, Glyph Sphere over here. Alright. And uh, so let's just stick it here. And... Yeah, there's gonna be several layers of this place. Let me take a look around over here. There should be... Um... I got a, like a bunch of stuff here. Some ice. Reset button. Thanks, Dovey. Seemed to be something under the staircase there. Uh. Can we push this? Oh. Bye! It's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so apparently we got ice ice pushing physics, so good times are gonna be had by all. Oh, apparently the uh, the glyph thing can destroy the ice, good to know. So let's just keep go oh, bye. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Let's go follow it. How you doing over here? Get take. There we go. Uh, I think we put it over here now. Maybe. No. I feel like it should do something here. the last one. This is one of the more confusing, uh, oh, there we go, areas if you can't tell. We get another sphere up there, though. What do we have on the left here? Nothing! We got a Makalania sphere, so that's the fun times over there. Uh... I think we put this one in here. And give it a push. Sweet! Now it's like a full, uh, whatchamahoosit. And it restored the ice over there. Hooray! Uh... Let's see. So that's gonna be our basic... What is that gonna do? I have no idea what that did. So that's going to be our basic ways of getting the ice all around, apparently. But I think we should stick the mock the the block all out the Makalania sphere over here then. Come on, and get some more ice back up over here. Now we just have to restore the third column. one goes in the middle here where I think this is where the glyph sphere was originally right hooray 
Hooray! We did it! And that un gets uncovered. That's suspicious. What is that pointing to? Hmm. I'm sure it's nothing. If we press the button here, though, we get our, uh... The, the third... The third slot over there, but let's give it a push. Huh! Calm down there. Did that turn into... Uh... Destruction sphere? Huh. Well, let's get it back, I guess. Uh, you. That's cool. I don't know how it turned itself into a destruction sphere that way, but that's cool. Uh... Is it this one? Nope. Is that not open right now? That's... It's not even open right now. Oh, okay. Oops. Where... I feel like I'm missing a... I think I screwed it up, because I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be a Makalani. I, I was supposed to take a Makalani sphere before getting that destruction sphere there. And I don't know if I can necessarily get it back. I feel like this is a way to actually soft lock it, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, because we're we're down to two spheres. Uh, can I get back? No. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so thankfully leaving and coming back resets everything. So this time we're gonna take out the Makalania sphere and then give it a push. So that our sphere isn't erased from existence. I know it's, I still don't know where the destruction sphere comes from, but it's okay. Let's give that a uh, that this over here. Still don't. Oh, that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I get it now. I get it now. And now we put this. Oh, so that's going to just keep that destroyed. Okay, okay. So this is what we do. This is what we do. We put that over here. Right? Right. And that makes... That makes this exist. So now... Give this a push. So it gets stuck in there. And we take the Makalani Sphere over here and we, we remake the ramp. Because this makes the little ice ramp here, and if we don't have the ice ramp, then we're all going to be upset. And we give this a little pushy push. Whee! And now this is down here. Uh, let's take this out. Wait, no, don't want to do this yet. Don't have space for it. I don't have space for it. 
We're going to take this out shortly. Uh, let's see, so this should work over here. Haha! -ha! There it is, there it goes. And in here we get a Lux Sphere, which is okay, but more importantly, we get our uh, treasure for Makalania Temple. Once again, these are all going to be really important later. We're almost up to later, but that's not soon. And when is soon? Now. Now? You just missed it. Anyway, it's it could be it could be a little confusing. Not gonna lie, it can be a little confusing. Also, when you get back up to the top, do not step on the reset switch, because otherwise you'll have to do that last step all over again. So just kinda go around it and here we go. Surely the worst is now past. I love the framing of this picture. Goodness gracious. Hello. Please. Give us a chance to explain. No need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. Oh. Meaning? Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado before becoming a maester. Mm -mm. You're not letting us go. Let you go? Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we did. Wait! Wait! Jiskel's sphere! We can show it to them! You mean this? Hey! Ah. Guado, take care of Guado affairs. Oh, wait! Oh, goodness. <laughs> Barrel right past them. And now we run. Awaka, get out of here, dude. He has really done him now. <laughs> no, no, not right now. And yeah, now the Guado are gonna chase us, and the Guado are faster than us. So they are eventually gonna catch up, but we're going to try best as we can. Uh, if a Guado does catch you, then you get into a battle, which should happen shortly. Unless uh, you're like perfect at running, but I don't think you can make it. Oh, come on, really? And they also summon monsters because they're jerks. I don't know how they summon monsters, but like I said, they are jerks. Uh, let's see, so the Guado will have 1200 health. I. Don't, well, let's see what Waka can do, because we did power him up a bit. Actually, no, Waka's going to attack these guys one way. Oh, yeah, they do have auto potions, so... I just want to see what Orin can do, and if Orin can't, uh, can't one-shot him, we're going to have Riku steal. But thankfully, Orin was able to... Oh, that was convenient. Orin was able to one-shot him, so hooray. Uh, but yeah, just like in the fight with Seymour, if you steal from them with Riku, they can no longer use Auto Potion. Let's continue getting out of here. Just remember when I said we'd have a chance to uh, to collect the whatever we missed here? This is this is why. <laughs> Luckily, the Guado. Yeah, the way. Luckily, the Guado are not going to be in every battle here, <laughs> so we have a chance to. Uh, just finish these enemies off normally. It is going to be the usual enemies though. Also it was pointed out uh, that the scene where we rode here on the uh, snow bike is influenced by your favorite character. I, I was pretty sure it was because I remember in the past riding along with Riku instead of Lulu. But uh, Lulu is, is, our, is our favorite this time around so it is what it is. I, I'm going back here because there's a different path to take if you can see. 
Yes, yeah, so if we go along this way, it'll take the same path. It just leads to a treasure at the end. And it's kind of cool that there is this little side path. Uh, are we supposed to run? I like that it keeps the escape music going. But anyway, over here we get a key sphere. Hooray! And that's it. Uh, I would suggest saving over here. Unfortunately, we still cannot play Blitzball. What is this world coming to? I'm surprised only one of them got me, really. What is that? Excuse you! <laughs> okay, so he just jumps out of nowhere, but we have boss time now against the Wendigo. There we go, 18,000 health with a overkill of weird 1,432. I don't understand what that, why. Um, let's see, can we just sloga all of you? Nope! So these guys are gonna cast buffs on the Wendigo. That's not good. So we're gonna wanna get rid of them. Ooh! Ooh! Ow! Uh, let's... let's... Let's use Power Break on you first and foremost. I was gonna switch you for Yuna, but no. Uh, Lulu. Get us Yuna over here. Uh, we have... Oh, everybody can do that. Uh, except for Fury, who we used in the last battle. Uh, let's get meta out here. The Wendigo might kill meta for this, but we're going to, uh, to, to overdrive it. Let's get ourselves an energy ray. <laughs> Unfortunately, when they die, they cast Shell and Protect on the Wendigo because they're jerks. Ow! Don't attack me again. Oh no! That stinks. <laughs> but the Wendigo is also weak to fire, just to point that out. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's... Let's haste Yuna for now, so that Yuna can just do a bit better in terms of healing. I want Titus to use his, um... I don't think Kimari can eat anything. Yeah, we can steal and use now. Because uh, if you remember, we brought him onto, uh... Onto, well, what's her faces uh, grid. Uh, let's use Slice and Dice, why not? I just wanted to do this so that I have it used. What was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, let's get Walk out here. Can you use Dark Buster? I don't think it works. It does. Oh, Dark and Berserk is a very good combination. Uh, Lulu, I don't know, just use Fyra. You're right, we got Bio! Forgot about Bio. Bio is really good. That's not good. But he does have Protect and everything, so it, I guess it makes sense. Uh, let's bring Riku out here to, uh, steal. Not much, but still. Uh, and Yuna, why don't you finish him off? He is weak to fire, so... Probably really weak to hellfire. Hellfire, this fire... ...is leading you to death. Haha, -ha, beautiful. I love that we're maxed out on that already. That's gonna be really useful to count on. We did it!
What's with things not dying? We got some spheres out of that, but we also died. Praise be to Yevon. That's what I would have said if I was a follower of Yevon. Yeah, you fell like a hundred feet. We yeah. were all there and in one piece. Snap your spine. Even if I had a headache from wondering what was in store for us next. Luckily, you have a hard head. And we are next to a save sphere. Also, this place is really cool. Uh, let's heal up because healing is fun. We're under the lake ice, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Look, that's the bottom of the temple. Hmm. This is kind of cool. We've fallen a long way. <laughs> Help! I've fallen and I can't what get now, up. What now? I wonder. What now? Uh. You act first and think later, don't you? I mean, can't you be a little more responsible? We're all depending on you, you know? <laughs> a lecture. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Just a suggestion. You should place trust in your friends. But you can't expect someone to protect you all the time. Hmm. You would do well to remember that. Is that a lecture? It's advice. <laughs> oh, gotta love him. Gotta love him. Uh, okay, let's see where everyone else is. Hey, Waka, would you cheer up? Uh, look, we only did what we had to do. Yeah, we only murdered a maester. It doesn't matter. Don't you see? I've always walked the path of Yevon. But now, I'm a traitor. Join the How club. How could this happen? That's what happens around me. It's not Riku's fault either. Huh? You don't know how I feel. You don't know me. You don't know me. I'm sure Yuni's okay. She's breathing fine and all. How are Lulu and Waka? Okay. Mm, How's that treasure well, chest? Waka's in shock. Can't blame him either. And Lulu, well, she's just the same as always. She's so together. All grown up, I guess. I guess. Well, just give me five or six more years. What's that supposed to be? Don't answer that. So, Kamari, how do we get out of here? Hey, don't change the subject. <laughs> we climb. Kimari too. Only those who try will become. Huh? I think he means you have to work hard if you want to be like Lulu. Oh, I will. More belts. Kimari think Riku should stay Riku. A lot huh? more belts. Hey, are you saying I'll never be like Lulu? Kimari! <laughs> You laugh at a time like this because it's funny. <sighs> Yuna, I wanted to confront Maester Seymour about his father, Lord Jiskol. I wanted to convince him to turn himself in to Yevon's judgment in exchange for marriage. Yes, if that's what it took. So, what did Seymour say? He didn't say anything. Now, I, now I don't even think it was worth it. I should have told you what I was going to do. Enough. Dwelling in the past is futile. Hey, uh -huh. you don't have to say it like that. You want to waste time listening to her regrets? You don't have to say it like that. Our immediate concern is Yuna's pilgrimage. Are you willing to go on? Yes. But then, 
Do you think Yevon will allow it? What does Yevon have got to do the with faith it? are the ones that give power to the summoners. What does Yevon Not have got to do with it? Yeah. If the temples try to stop us, kill them all. And we will defy Yevon if we must. Kill them all! Whoa. I can't believe you said that! Sir Oren? Kill them all! Sorry. Count me out. We have to atone to make up for the sins we have committed. Of course. It's not like I ever liked Maester Seymour, yeah? No way I'll ever forgive him for killing Lord Jiskel. Yeah, but we're for trying to do us all in two, you know. Sin. But still, so it counts, The bunch right? of us going against Yevon? No way. But still, we have to on, camera. and must face our punishment. We must go to Bevel. We must speak with Maester Mica and explain what has happened. There is no other way, I think. I agree. Uh. Sir Oren? So it is decided. Will you come with us? I am the troublemaker after all. Yeah, that's right. You can always count on Oren to complicate things. <laughs> yeah. Kamari roars and Oren runs off and... I never asked you to follow me. Hey, but that's what friends are for. Right? Yep. Thank you. Okay, sounds huh? good. Sounds good. Friends, huh? <laughs> Man, how can you all act like nothing's wrong? Must got nerves of steel or something. You're too edgy. Listen to the hymn and calm down. Yeah. Gotta be calm. Is that coming from the temple? Yes, it is Yevon's gift. It soothes the hearts of the faithful. That, where do you go? Uh, let's see. So we got to try chest up over here with an Avenger. And I believe. Yeah, there's a hidden treasure chest there with a the level 2 key sphere. Devious, devious. But the Avenger is an interesting weapon that has counterattack on it. When you get hit, you hit back. Pretty simple. Who is that singing? The Faith. Oh. Huh? The Faith? What? It can sing? Of course it can. Don't be a fool. Yeah, idiot. Say, you feel something weird in the air. Some kind of bad vibes or something. A little bit, yeah. I thought so. I don't know what's going on, but I have a bad feeling about it. Jack used to sing this song. <laughs> yeah, over and over. <laughs> but not this good, that's for sure. He used to sing the hymn of the faith. Another trait you share. <laughs> uh, what? You were listening? Hey, can I get a little privacy? Can I get a little privacy around here? Your singing reminded me of Spira. All right, you're not originally from Xanarkin, are you? How did you not remember him saying that? You homesick? Maybe. Say, how'd you get to Xanarkind anyway? Sin? It's uh -huh. a long story. I thought so. That proved it. Sin was the link between Xanarkind and Spira. Which means, if we kill Sin, I'll never be able to go home. Hmm? What's going the on? The singing stopped. That's not good. There's something here. The ground. 
Not again. <gasps> Sin! <gasps> the toxin, watch out! It was then I knew that Sin really was my old man. For the first time, I was finally able to believe it. The song you were listening to. What is it this time? <laughs> 